Right, welcome down to another Golf Mates video. Today is a belter. You're in for a treat. Yes, treat, treat, treat. I've got you an Australian professional, old school, last of a dying breed. Just watch this video and you'll understand how amazing this man is. The man is just different. On the tee from Australia, Simon Payne. Simon! Oh, jeepers. Simon, that is called scent. Right, golf mates, this is Simon Payne. Why is he different? Simon, I'm going to be dead easy. See that driver in your hand? Was it fitted? Absolutely not. Your irons were the fitted? No. Has anything been fitted in your bag? Only my stomach. No. Only your stomach. <laughs> right, but on a serious note, are you ready for this? You're going to love this. Dude, yeah. Simon, do you use GPS devices? No. Do you use range finders? These are my range finders. Simon plays with feel. He fits his clubs himself with feel, and he just plays the game old school, no gadgets, and he's a professional. And his swing, Dave McKinnon played with him over week and said, do you know what, get him on the channel, his swing is old school. And Simon is an old school professional. And I don't mean that, Simon, because you're nearly 50. No, so, I, I have turned 50, mate. That's, oh, have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, you, so listen, he's 50 year old, and I'm telling you now, he sends it. So we're going to play four holes with Simon, ask him some questions, and when you see his clubs, don't laugh. That's all I'm saying. Right, Simon, this was a 385 yard par four. Uh, just been destroyed. I'm not going to say how far you've got. That pin's probably three metres front of centre, so I reckon I've probably got about 65 yards. Right. Young guys these days, and the, the, top, the top professionals, they, they play to a distance, and it was never... Not your school. It never came to me. All my mates, you know, we all grew up the same. Look at this. That should feed in. Lovely. Simple. A little, I pulled it a little bit, so I've gained a little bit more distance on that. I'd be buzzing with that. Yeah, no, it's good, mate. I don't know, 16 foot birdie putt down the hill. Get on the green, I'm going to talk about his putter. It's, uh, 40 years old. What I am going to say is this. He's probably one of the best putters I've ever seen. P are you a pin out or in man? I'm a pin out, mate. So you are old school, aren't you? Absolutely. Right, so what you're seeing there is Simon's putter. An old ping answer. An old ping answer with the old uh, slit, so that makes it pop. Or oh, makes it zing, ping, yeah. Uh, what, what are you using that for? I know you're great with it, is it just, have you tried? I, just, I like the weight and I like the, the shape. Um, it, it, it sits really nice and square behind the ball, which is amazing after being 40 years old, but it does. And the grip? My goodness, the grip is, well, it's disgusting to say the least. And in the summertime, it gets really sticky. Birdie pot, <laughs> Simon. And then when I, when I get, I want to find out exactly where you're from in Oz. Oh, you started playing golf. Oh. But, uh, wait till you see his three wood golf, mate. You'll cry laughing. Oh. Jeez, I thought I'd jag that. You thought you got it? I thought I had that, mate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, I was probably a bit overzealous there, to be fair. Look at the slope coming down, but, I mean, I've been confident with this putter, so, uh, why not? Why not? You see how that went in? Did you see the pace how that went in? Simon, that got bished in. Bish, bash, wallet. Do you always try and go past the hole, putting? Ah, uh, well, if you don't go past, you, you, you're never going to hold them, are you? So you're probably looking, I, I'm thinking, the length of a putter grip, roughly right. the length of my hand span. Where were you from in Oz? Whereabouts? Oh, well, north side of Brisbane, a place called Kalanga. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I grew up at a golf course called Pine Rivers Golf Club. I bet you there's someone watching this knows that. I'll tell you now. There's a couple you... of blokes, but a good mate of mine, Chris Stamp, and one of the other guys that I know watches the channel, Luke Jackson, um, from up on the Sunshine Coast. I'm sure you've you've seen Luke on your on your channel. Lads, thanks very much. There's got to be a story how you've ended up in the UAE or UAE, whatever. Where are we? I've, I've ran away, mate. I <laughs> <laughs> right, so we brought you this second hole. It's a great hole. Simon's just said he likes driver here, don't you, Simon? Mate. It just suits your eye. It suits my eye like you cannot believe. He does want to walk left hand side if he can, he said. Jesus, chicken and rice, flaming gazelle. Stay there, Simon. Crikey. So what's happened then? What'd you call that then? 
That's gone. <laughs> That's gone. <laughs> How have you ended up over here? Basically, it's just a change. A change in uh, in what I was doing, and I had a good mate that was living in the region. Uh, back then, I think you could come across with a three-month visa, and it was either I got a job, I didn't get a job. If I didn't get a job, I'd come back home. Um, and so I a think, bit of a gamble? Yeah, complete gamble. And how many years ago was that? The day after the Melbourne Cup in 2005, so I'm going to say November 3, 2005. 2005? So wow. 16 years ago. So talking about 16 years, so he's got, as a driver, a TSI2. So this could be about four year old, yeah? No, that's one of the new ones. That's oh, is it? from last year. Is it? Yeah. Wow. This shaft's not new though, is it? No, that's, uh, oh crikey, that must be 2008, Two, I reckon. So, so you just take this shaft with you? Yeah. Any club you get, you put this in? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Wait till you see his uh, three wood. Yeah. Even I've got issues with that. <laughs> <laughs> right, Si. Great tee shot. Thank You've you. You got to the left hand side where you wanted. Yeah. It's still tricky with that pin, isn't it? It is. It is tricky. A little right to left slope. Awesome drive. Thank you. Why do you not use a range fire? Just, just curiosity. Well, like I, I touched on, for, for one, it's my home course. I feel myself, I get more out of myself and my game if I don't have that, yeah, three. that impetus of the number sitting up, up there. I can, you know, I get enough, you know, visual cues. Other golf courses, map. yeah. Other golf courses have the GPS. I know roughly how far I hit it. Yeah. Um, so for me, that's kind of good enough. I'm not saying that's the the only way to play golf or the best way to play but it golf. Is for you. And I think for the average punter, it would they'd be for their golf game would be uh, far like better this. off for it. So you're saying then, less knowledge, less up here in your head. Absolutely. Isn't it? Who really knows how far they precisely hit that? that uh, iron shot, tee shot, wedge shot and so forth. So I think you've got to play with the law of averages and like I said in previous videos we did last year is hit to the middle, putt to the corners. Anyway, right, so what do you think you've got in here? I reckon I've got about 75. So if I just take you through it roughly, yeah, we've got 100, 100 uh, yards. So we take off one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Let's roughly call it 10. So and that comes simple down, as that. That comes down to 90. By my local knowledge, I know that pin's roughly 12 to 15 front yeah. or inside uh, centre. So that gets me to my number of roughly 75, 75, 80. Yeah, so you'll go any, yeah, I like it. To try to get it close, I need to be a little bit cheeky and try and hit it right and let's spin it down to the left. But right. easier said than done. But that being said, I've got the slope to help me. Oh, Simon, mate. I oh. crisp that. Oh! oh. <laughs> no, it's just net flag. Crikey. If you can't comment... Jeepers Creepers. Creepers. Jeepers just, Creepers. How do you spell that quickly? G-E-E-P-E-R-S. <laughs> just here. <laughs> what a shot. That, I'm going to do the divot, though. What a shot that was. Oh, yeah, the divot. Don't forget to tap your divots in old school. Yep. Some places, they don't want divots to go back, do they? Is this one where you don't want this to This is back? one of the places, obviously with the grass that we have here, it's past palum, and it doesn't retake. It so, much prefers some clean red sand. Right, so this, putting that back is pointless. It will die. There it you go. It won't grow in. Proper shots. And look what you've got there. A bit of jizz. A bit of jizz, the old backspin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't expect it uh, to be that close. So do you know what you're putting now? Your first look of the hole, is that normally works? Normally, not? to me, the first look is is the correct look, you yeah, know. I, I um, think that, obviously, yeah. different shades of light and so forth can throw you out, but I mean, it's pretty self explanatory here. We've got a slope coming down like this. You're on the low side. Uh, we've got Joe up there on the high side, so everything's moving left to right. So then it just, the amount of break is going to be determined by the speed I hit the putt. Yeah. Simple as it is. Best putt I've ever seen. On Get the in. high side. <laughs> <laughs> How many years ago did you go to the range? Well, last time you went to a range? When Jesus was a boy. <laughs> so you don't bother with <laughs> And I'm going to tell you what's happened today. He said, right, what time are we filming? I said, half past nine in the morning. Right, I'll be there at half past nine. Tucked him in with a mic and off he went. <laughs> old school, 50 year old athletic figure. He hits an iron off this next hole and wait till you see this. This is another one, what's 14 year old club? 16. 16. In its 16th year, yeah. And it's one of your favourites? Yeah, it's the old fly high. Right, so we're on this par four, it's 390, an old two iron. With an old shaft, I remember seeing this, I think it even 
One of the lads on the channel's got this, and this is 16 year old two iron. Yeah, it's the uh, Mizuno MP Fly High, cut muscle, standard Mizuno, grain flow forged. And it's uh, not here for a finger, we're just saying it's 18 16 degrees, yeah. And you love it? I love it, yeah. So it's in its 16th year. Yeah, I got wow. it in back in 06. And you, there's no chance of you changing that? No, it's gorgeous, mate. I, I, I don't, yeah, I don't see how you can get any better. That's what that'll really. do for me. What a golf shot. What a golf shot. So that, I'm happy with that. I, I might have pulled it slightly. Well, it's still in line of the bunker. It's finished on the left yeah, side. Yeah, it's on the left side of the bunker, yeah. In your eyes, roughly, how far do you hit this? Probably 240, I'm thinking. Wow. Yeah. 50 year old, but he's a tall lad. Flat belly. Yeah, we've all put him in a bit of turkey <laughs> on this Christmas, haven't we? Right, Sam, you've got a good line in, like you said. You I said you're the line. smallest bit left. You've got yourself a little side hill lie. I am on a little side hill lie. With the ball below the, your feet, the tendency is to lose it somewhat right. So I need to be confident here in my swing and just commit to the line I've chosen. And uh, hopefully it'll see the ball shoot towards the pin. I need to hit it. I need to hit it. If I wince out on it, then I'm in the water. Oh, Simon. On the flag! <laughs> right, Simon, so you had this side of life. I had four eggs for breakfast, too. <laughs> this is why I had to make this video. The man is just different. They do not make them. Give him some love. Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers. They don't make them like this, I'm telling you. Problem is, after this, I'm taking him on. And he's, uh, he's peppering the pin. Sometimes you don't need your putt when you've hit a good shot. And this man is uh, playing to the cameras. Because Joe's going to walk back. Look at that! Wow. So what are you seeing here, Simon? Uphill, left to right? <laughs> well, I tell you what, this I think... This video couldn't get any better, right? I think it's a double breaker. We played... It was actually me and Pillars, the other pro, Simon and Dave, and we finished all square, but... You we did. Just, unbelievable. That was a tremendous afternoon's so goal. This is for two under after three. You know, you want to stop the video here, but we're not. <laughs> now, let me just tell you the calibre of the shot is the second shot, you explained it running hill, you did everything and just whacked it with no technology, no swing force, no this, get it on the inside, none of this. Well, yeah, again, I roughly know how far I hit the ball as most, you know, decent golfers do. Um, but yeah, you've just got to, you've got to trust it. Obviously a little bit of wind today, so that's probably my, nearly my maximum eight iron off that slope. So I knew I could be aggressive and, on the slope like that, you need to be aggressive. As soon as you start wincing out of things, that's when you're going to start chunking it, hitting it, hitting it short, hitting it left, hitting it right. So you've got to commit to the stroke, commit to the club you've got in your hand, and then just trust it and go yeah. for it. Yeah. Anyway, par three next, but let me just show you this. Uh, let me get on the tee and show you this three wood. It's uh, damaged. <laughs> right, so we're going to finish on a par three, but look at this. I've got some other shots. Uh, you think it's over 10 year old, don't you? It's definitely over 10. It's got a bit of paint damage. And you don't bother looking at that? No, it's a, it's a, it's a character spot. It's a right. beauty mark, it's just it's a like beautiful. a beauty mark, yeah? Right, par three, uh, slightly elevated green, coming into the wind today. Oh, we can't get a picture of the big flag, but it, the wind is into us. Uh, 100 and, well, I'm gonna go with uh, roughly 165. Obviously, okay. I know kind of what it is, so. Uh, what would that be for you? I might regret this, but I'm gonna try and hit like a soft, Squeezy six. That's squeezy six. A squeezy six. Right, I'm liking this. So his clubs are actually Cobra. They're about four year old, aren't they? Yes, yeah. They're small headed fours, proper players' clubs. Very small headed clubs, yeah. And like I said, he's got great hands, Simon, with his short game and all sorts. Oh my god. He's peppering the pin again. I'll tell you what, that's going to be close, I think. Oh, Jeepers! Jeepers! <laughs> Creepers! Creepers! We are bringing the best out of you. <laughs> I tell you what, it just makes you think if you're good, you're good, you can play with anything. Or can he? He's having the challenge with the slazingers after, aren't you? That'll be interesting, yeah, I must say. Uh, so let's just show these again. Look at the size of these little thin bladey clubs. Yeah, lovely, mate. So that Solid. Was, that was a six. Uh, a little bit of a cavity there to help. Hopefully, we can keep the, uh, keep the flow going, mate. Can we go for three in a row? Three under. Could you have got seven there? Or did you just not? Is that the shot you visualised? No, absolutely not, mate. So you, so like, did you visualise the shot like you visualised the one before with the eight iron? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I, 
knowing the you know a little bit of wind conditions and so forth and knowing you know your sort of limitations my limitations could never have got a seven iron there unless i hit some squirrel hook right that was the right golf shot to play yeah. as well within myself look if i wanted to blister a six i'd could put it in the back bunker yeah. but i sort of squeezed that and held that one off again a lot of it comes comes about feel liam that's what you know you, that's and what, uh, i think that's what i'm trying with this video you are a feel player aren't you yeah and you can't i, I, I don't think you can sort of uh teach that teach that no, it's, it's sort of i'm a it's like i'm my a product chipping. of my environment it's like my chipping i'm feel player <laughs> <laughs> right i need to have a look at this side for this one this is important, this. This is unbelievable golf, this. I think it's going to drop this side. I think. Well, I'm not saying because you're a better putter than me, but I think he's spot on. Jeez, I'm going to have to even bend down for this one. Doesn't it look cool? Are you wishing this in? Because I am. Last of a dying breed. There'd be not many golf pros like this, I'm telling you. It's that uphill bit from here. Not a problem, nice three. Come here. <laughs> right, Simon, top man. Thank you very and much, If you want to know, he is going bald. <laughs> so watch them videos.